house call over here. A in house Whittier. call? Where? Yeah, in Whittier. In the city. Did they just call you last minute? No, it's one of my clients. She's like a really good client of mine. She's like, she like breeds bulldogs. Like, dude, she had like 20 Frenchies in her house. It was so cute. <laughs> you should have put one in your bag, girl. She would have known <laughs> right? it. I know. My mom's like, how much are they? Why didn't you ask? <laughs> you should have been like, hop on on the last man. <laughs> uh, She's like, Destiny, you see one of my Frenchies? What French girl? Oh, yeah, you're little. Oh my god. So Destiny Destiny is a good friend of mine, guys, and she's also a very big hustler hustler. If not, I am if not, I'm very impacted by her flow, her energy, how she's able to do things, how she honestly is fearless because she goes into she like does so many things and so many things so well. She has you really do like watching your work is amazing because you never like i don't know like maybe you do see an obstacle but at the same time you never really see an obstacle like you just go like you hear about a new treatment and you're like i'm gonna get What's this an down obstacle? and no, i know yeah so i'm like so destiny tell us about you tell us about you know your name um how you don't have to say how old you are because we don't say how old we are right here <laughs> i'm good um okay. well Okay, I've been doing services since like, girl, <laughs> since like 2012 probably. I was in high school and I would just do lashes. I really, I didn't want to do lashes. I want to do makeup. You know how that is. Yeah. It's like makeup, makeup, no makeup so on. But uh, I don't <laughs> know. Like, I'm kind of like, heart. yeah, makeup's kind of like a weekend job, you know? Like I got over like driving so far like weddings and all that but so I started to do lashes and that's like you know like a everyday thing and so that's how I started doing that I was how did you first I was, huh? Destiny, sorry. how did you first discover lashing like how was that like what was your introduction to that field like how like did you just one day walked in and somebody had lashes or what intrigued you about that like what what yeah. got you into that um, uh, my aunt, she's, like, been an esthetician for, like, dude, like, oh my god, like, years, like, probably, like, 20 years now, and she started to, um, it was, like, back when, like, training was, like, barely, like, a thing, and she would train to, like, this company, Minkies, I don't know, you guys probably heard of them, they're so, like, popping and stuff, but, so, <laughs> so, tag right here. <laughs> yeah, I pinned Minkies, um, <laughs> Yeah, so we I learned through them, and then um, I didn't really I didn't want to do it because it was so hard. It, like lash techs on here tell me that shit is hard. <laughs> At first, you're like, "What is this, bro?" So um, yeah, what made I, it? I don't know. Destiny, I just kept doing it. Destiny, what made it like particularly hard? Do you feel like what what is what makes lashing so difficult? It's not hard. I feel like it's like the muscle memory. Like you have to keep going and um, practicing every day, like to get your hands used to it. Because you're using your left hand to do, you know, if you're left handed, you're using, you know, if you're right handed, you're using your left and vice versa. So it's kind of like you got to train yourself to like know. And it's just like so tedious, girl. Like <laughs> every single lap. <laughs> It's every when? single lash. <laughs> when did you no realize lash, small lashes? <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> when did you When did you realize you were good? Like you know how you start doing lashes, but when did you say, "God damn, I am really good"? Because I'm sure, like we all in, in every field, you're always like you start somewhere, right? And you're I kinda, thought I was oh. good. I thought I was good off the bat. <laughs> I look back and they're all crooked. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um. But maybe like maybe like two years in or like a year kind of after I started to do volume because um, volume wasn't out when I started to do it. It was just classic, like you know the single ones, like the yeah, single. yeah. And then I don't know. I wanted to move out. I had a kid. I wanted to move out, so I started doing lashes like a gang, gang, gang. And then 
I so like how did you just hold on hold on hold on that's a big thing right there because we can't just go <laughs> over that like how uh, did you just how did you decide that this is like did you just one day wake up and say you know what I'm gonna book like four clients today or which was it just oh, how did yeah. that come into how did it happen no literally I went on um I went on Facebook marketplace and I think I put like $40, <laughs> $40, <right? laughs> and I was like, um, this is like in 2015, and I was like, I, I I got a little notepad, and I wrote down like the lady's name, it was like five ladies, and I gave myself only an hour in between, so I was like, I'm going to do it, I told my man, you know what, I think if I don't, oh, so. I can make a good amount. <laughs> Dude, hold on, hold on, let's, let's recap that. <laughs> So you were you weren't still an expert like you are now. You were still in the beginning phases, right? Yeah. 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 So yeah, when you booked in the in the sala type shit. <laughs> yeah, so but when you booked all these clients, were did you already have the skills to take that many clients in a day or was it just like, know. oh what just happened? I thought I did, but it was hard when I got I don't know. It, and I mean, like, I feel like, yeah, the technique was there, but not so much speed. So it kind of, like, helped me with that aspect. So it kind of put you under pressure. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it did. But... <laughs> like, you're better than coffee, Destiny. Oh, like, an hour. <laughs> I swear, I'm taking three hours. Okay, so people understand, because maybe there's people that have never gotten their lashes done. Generally, how much should you give yourself? And I'm talking, I'm not an expert, like, maybe like you, but two I'm hours. just saying, like, two hours. Two so hours. think about it, guys. Yeah. She's if you do a lash in an hour, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> so get this, guys. Imagine Destiny. How old were you roughly around that age? Around that time? 19. Okay, just imagine Destiny, 19. She's like, I'm just going to do these lashes that technically take two hours and one hour. How did you feel? Like, what? Did you ever feel like giving up? Um, no. Because it, it, it was good. <laughs> You're like, they were there already. I was going to do it. Like, but you never in that same day where you... Where you had the 10 clients, did you ever say, you know what, I'm just going to give up right now? Yeah, you know, you know what I did? I did get kind of, like, discouraged because the ladies, it was, like, from Facebook, okay? So they are yeah. like, older, and I don't think we were expecting to lay there for that long, you know? So yeah. it was kind of, like, I was, like, down. <laughs> <laughs> Destiny, I can't even imagine you honestly are ballsy because you're 19 years old. You have these ladies that already have no patience. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that takes courage. Yeah, that that was crazy. But then I just started doing that every day. <laughs> I put oh, my really? son. Yeah, I put my son in the little swing, and then I just I would just lash like. He, um, yeah, my son was good. He's not like my daughter. <laughs> he just, like, <laughs> lay there and everyone. It was mostly people from my high school, so they would be like, oh, you little baby, and, like, whatever. All <laughs> <laughs> right. Destiny. But you know what's the craziest about this is that the fact that you believed in yourself, that you said, I can get 10 yeah. clients down. Like, yeah. that believing in yourself part is the hard part that people can't comprehend. Like, how do you wake up and you... What if everything would have gone wrong? What if it would have been a really bad day? That do has happened think... to me, too. <laughs> oh, talk to us about that experience. Yeah. Just, like, just when, you know, like, one person's lay or, like, bro, my tweezers messing up or, like, it's just the, the glue is not working right because, like, it's too hot or it's too cold, like, it's, like, so many, like, little, like, like, things, aspects that go into lashing that could just, like, ruin your whole day, and it's just, like, no, like. How do you, how do yeah, you switch like, that? How do you switch that? Because you, you, like you said, you might have had a bad day, but now you, you have kids, you know, because you're, you're a mommy as, as well, and a great one at that, but. Yeah. You're coming home. You had a horrible day from last year. Let's say everything went wrong. Tweezers fell. Like, everything's wrong. You come home. How do you change into mom mode and say, you know what, that, that, or does it ever happen that it goes into the same? Like, you're just like, I'm having a bad day. And, you know, all moms have a bad day, all moms, you know, but 
how do you do like are, are you working on that are you have always been good at it or what yeah, has helped you become um i smoke a blunt <laughs> <laughs> and then i clock into my other job no my kids like i even notice when i have sorry guys i'm getting home um when i have a bad day it's like when i'm I mean, I'm grateful for my kids every day, but I just, yeah. like, those are the days that I, I can't wait. Like, come here, and, like, I don't know, you forget everything when you look at them. It's just, like, that shit goes, like, pew. <laughs> so, like, they make it all help. worth it. Yeah, like, I forget, or, like, I tell my man, my man, he just plays the game, and I'm, like, babe, this fucking da 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 And he's just, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Talking yeah. about your man, Destiny, um, you actually just got married. Yeah. Congratulations on that. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> I know you just recently got married. How has that experience been for you so far? And what? What? how did you decide it was time? Because as a hustler, you know, you're always protecting the bag. So how are you like, this is it. This is the one. <laughs> um, I'm tied down. Um... I don't know how huh? we're literally just like we're gonna get married. Or <laughs> yeah, he like he like sneaked it in there. Say hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> um, he just sneaked it in there because I don't know. We were talking about my daughter and just like the kids, and then he was just like, "Should we get married?" And I was just like, <laughs> "He's so yeah. cute, like." Um, are you gonna say yes before I ask? <laughs> yeah, I was like, are you? no, it's just like, dude, you've really like been married, like, you've been together for so long. Yeah. yeah, but is it different though when you sign that document? Does it make it different, or you feel like, oh, it's just the same, it's just another day? But did, did you feel like a different sense, like? after like is there a difference because some people might say oh you're just signing a paper but are you just signing a paper or do you feel a connect a, i know you already have a good connection with him but after it did you feel like a bigger like a connection yeah. yeah yeah low-key because i don't know like to be like I, i'm not gonna front like we have like a lot of or we, we're having like a lot of sit down so it's kind of just like like, what is it, you know, because we have kids, like, we have a house, like, we got to figure it out. So, I don't know, it kind of just, like, not that you can't go nowhere, but it's, like, that's <laughs> it, it kind of showed us to, like, um, how to, like, really talk things out and, like, resolve it, not just, like, bitch, it's over, like, <laughs> like, we figured out, or, like, you know, go to the gym or, like, I'll go to work and we'll talk about it later. Like stuff like that, I guess you could say that. Like you guys you guys decided to better coexist with each other. And yeah. that's beautiful because that's a great and also as a hustler, did it ever affect you? Did your like home ever affect your lashing or were you always just a bomb lasher regardless of anything that was going on in your life? Um uh, like, maybe like some some days I would like not well, I would reschedule or like cancel. Maybe that is like the only time. But then, um, lashing, like I always say, like I'm like so thankful for lashing and just work doing services because, like, it kind of like um, it just keeps you grounded, like through this. Like, I just look back and I'm just like, damn, bitch, you're funny. Like, <laughs> through this time, you're lashing, through this time, you're still lashing, through this time, you're just, like, no matter like what like bad shit i was going through like i would just fucking still do lashes <laughs> like i was yeah. like, talking about i was just doing lashes <laughs> like, yeah, <I> was like, <laughs> so destiny so you start off with lashing and you're amazing at it and then what makes you decide to add more and what was the next service that you added um right after that um, eyebrows probably. eyebrow waxing were you just like, I'm just going to add more? Or did you just also say, you know what? I'm just like, how did your hustling mind work? Like, how did you decide it was time to add more? Or because I'm just some people like, that... bitch, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm really just like, I could do that. No, um, my mom. Hold on. They're watching one up in here. So I'm going to go to my room. <laughs> um, My mom, she's. A cosmetologist, so she did a lot of like little different things, mm -hmm. um, services like 
my mom does nails my mom does lashes my mom colors hair so like i i don't know i just i just that's how my brain works i guess like i'm not just like one service i guess i don't know so you feel like you're able to that every anybody that does in the industry i mean it's so much like you really want to specialize in one thing but i think everyone should do different services like that's this is one of the only like um yeah well, the only industry where you can have like a whole different things under the whole umbrella you know what i'm saying yeah yeah like you can make multiple ways of um income in in this yeah. type of um yeah. environment it, but it's still the same you know it's still yeah. your beauty business i guess i don't what know what do you think it's takes you the longest out of all the services you do uh lashes and the least like that that's a little bit like more time efficient i guess that it's in a smaller uh, time two gym Tooth gem. How did you get into that? Do you have any funny like, stories for us with tooth gems, or how did you start with that, or did you do you have any interesting stories with tooth gems? Because I feel like very certain type of people get tooth gems, like people that are very like um, outgoing, cool. So I'm sure that you meet a lot of cool people because I feel like really cool and outgoing people are the types that would get tooth gems, yeah. right? Because yeah. you have to be confident in yourself and you got to yeah, know what I you like. like. Random people that get tooth gems. <laughs> Yeah, no, nothing crazy. I mean, like, no. But, uh. Do you yeah. ever rem Do you ever remember a time when you were nervous around a client, and it could be for whatever reasons, but you just felt nervous? Yeah. And, and tell yeah. us which one was the most severe one Can that I you've ever had, or that you could actually share. No, when I barely started, I would get so nervous. Like, I would get so nervous. Sometimes, like, if I got so nervous, I would tell them, like, um, can we do a later time? Like, and, like, nothing would be wrong. It was just, like, I would get so nervous. Like, I don't know why. And then I remember when I barely started doing lashes, like, I wouldn't talk. Like, I would just be, like, oh, hi, how are you? Like, where are you coming from? And then, like, I would not talk, like. It was so awkward. I I would not talk, bro. <laughs> so, why? Why do you feel that you couldn't talk? Have you ever always been more to yourself, or is this is this type of job the type of job that has helped you develop your skills? Also, you like talking yes. more. Now I'm like now you know how I am. I'm just like, <laughs> oh, this. like sometimes I'm like if I'm talking too much, you want to just relax. Let me know because. <laughs> You know what's something that I really enjoy about you, Destiny? Something I enjoy about you is the fact that even from the first time that you came in and we did a we did a lash class together, even from that time, I remember you came in because I'm picturing you. I'm picturing you with everything you were wearing. Right I'm picturing, yeah, I'm picturing you the <laughs> whole like I'm right here seeing Destiny, <laughs> you know. And I and I recall that you came in with such confidence, like you came in the oh. door, like it wasn't like, hey, are you like, no, you was you came in like, hey, just lash the plow, girl. Where do I set up? Like, oh. and I love that energy because it was like, oh. hey, we cool, we friends. Let me know, oh, and I really enjoy. That's how I feel now. Like I get in there and I'm like, let's do it. Like it doesn't matter who it is. Like, like freaking 90 years old to like 16 years old like and i you know, to talk that. to people don't you think like through this you 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 know you have a lot of customer service but <laughs> yeah but you learn no 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 but people. but you do you do a different customer service i feel your customer service is I can I can give you customer service and I'm still working on the confidence part because I feel like I can give you amazing customer service. I can really like be out there and stuff. But sometimes if I don't have enough confidence, I won't try something new till maybe a little bit later, but not right away. And it takes me a while to really feel confident 100 in what I'm doing sometimes. But wow. I feel like you come in with that like you come in with that mentality like no like i already know how to do it like i can teach you to like 10 people right now today <laughs> this day you know what i'm saying like you have no, that confidence no. and you believe what you say you know what i'm saying like what you say yeah. is like that is who i am i know but a lot of people think like like for, i don't know for a minute i was i'm not gonna lie i would be like oh like am i copying them or like oh i know this girl does nails but then now it's just like no like why can't you do it you know 
Yeah. Oh. Like you have to, you have to feel confident in everything you do. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, I've always said, and I'll say it again, there's always enough clients. There's no way you can ever do everybody. Even, like, it's like impossible, you know? I so to me, do... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 no. I used to be so crazy in high school. I would do makeup and I would bring like, I would be like, okay, well, while I'm doing her makeup or while her hair is setting or I don't know, I would call my little friend. He would come curl the hair and I would do two, I would book two people. Cause I would be like, no, I'm doing it all. Like they all hit me up and I'm not saying no to everybody. Crazy like that. Like my grandpa would just be like, what the hell? Like I'll have like, 16 girls running getting their little dress and like doing all that in the kitchen <laughs> like what like, when you did makeup <laughs> yeah that was like in high school like literally when i was in high school i would i would do everybody's makeup and then i would go late because i would do my makeup <laughs> yeah no way that is so yeah. crazy destiny and then that you were doing my last plan but you're like a hustler dude like at the end of the day, at a young age, you were already booking all these girls and like, what? And then they were in your house and you were doing their makeup, like, and then you were curling their hair, like, literally, yeah, like you had a whole little oh, empire going. Oh, I could do hairstyles. They're like, can you do this hairstyle? Yeah. <laughs> and how were you able to do it? Like, how does your brain work? Do you just pick things up very easily? Like, because you're good with your hands. Like, at the end of the day, it's like, you see something, you kind of like, are you just naturally good at it or does it take you a while but the whole time you're thinking i'm gonna get better i'm gonna get better like uh, well how does I your mind think, process um i think because because i like to get ready myself if that makes sense you know yeah. like i would yeah. always do like little braids on myself or little hairstyles and then people would be like oh like how I always like when I do a fast little hairstyle, every it never fell. They're like, Oh my god, that's so cute. And I'm just like, do this. Like I did this real fast. Like so then, <laughs> I don't know. Like I guess I'm like my own advertisement. And then I know it, how I did it on myself, so then I could do it like on other people, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I have like a like a good eye for that looks good on you. You know, like everyone yeah. can make makeup, but it's hard to do makeup on like people, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so destiny you you can look at someone and say you know what this looks good on them or that looks better on them like yeah i or, wear eyebrows lashes makeup in my head <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's crazy like so you oh. see someone and like you can already <laughs> see him like you have your own app in your head like change different <laughs> hairstyle <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i'm like switching their brows out <laughs> and i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> Dude, but who taught you to make money this way? Like, you, I've no, your mom was that what it was? Like, you would see her bringing cash. And when did you get introduced to money? Like, when did you say, you know what? Because everything you're saying is so fascinating. But I need to go a little bit further because every time I keep going back, you had a hustle still going on. So I'm trying to think about Destiny <laughs> before she was a hustler, like Destiny pre hustler. So I'm trying to, like, how much more back? Like, were you selling things in middle school or when did you start into, like, really making money from your services? Um, I, well, when I was like 14, 15, I'm trying to think. My grandma had her own business, so I would go help her, and she would pay me good. So oh, okay. I was just like, yeah, and I kind of seen how my grandma did things, and my mom, like, my mom would do that. She started to do more baking stuff, but I would see how she would do a class, and, like, I don't know. So I guess, like, my mom and my grandma really, they kind of They pushed you into the, that direction? Yeah. yeah. The, I was so, like, you think, so you think showing... Um, I want you to do my life. me. <laughs> so, so, um, so your parents teach you about hustling and such. Maybe they my didn't know dad, they were teaching. Like my grandpa, dude. You know, when I was like super little, like my dad's mom, she's um very like old school, like Mexican. But my grandpa owns like apartment. Okay. Complex, and she would take us to go clean. Like you better go clean it. Like help us clean. Help us, like it was always like that. Like like I don't know. 
I feel like so I see you have a lot of hustlers in your family you got business owners you your grandma your mom like it was always kind of like in your blood in a sense right it's just like so yeah, honestly like it's a really good thing to show your kids about money at a young age that's what I'm getting because it really gave you that type of headspace where mm -hmm. you were like you know what I like this this is how this moves and your brain was just picking up maybe without you noticing it was picking up all these different skills that you were seeing around you you know yeah and I always like like my mom and my dad like my dad always worked a lot you know like he mm -hmm. always worked like like 16 hours he still does um but I mean like we didn't have like they were like so fancy so I like you know I'm over here like makeup <laughs> glasses. like I need to buy my own stuff <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah so I that too I would want to buy my own my own clothes my own makeup my own stuff so you were like, like make my mom buy me everything make my dad <laughs> no 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 yeah, yeah. so so then introducing money at a young age for kids is a beautiful thing because it shows them how to manage money, how money feels, how hard yeah. it is to obtain money. Was there any time during your career so far that you wanted to give up the beauty industry or you that's never crossed your mind? No. I don't no. I've never had a, a real job. <laughs> No, 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 it's not a real, no, 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 not a real job. What like, I mean is uh, like, like, something like other than this. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, did you ever want to pursue something else? Because you could be a doctor and want to pursue like being an attorney or you can be, you know what I'm saying? Did you ever feel I, like pursuing I, I another career? Nurse. I, I want to go to nursing school. I, I like kind of started and then I was like, oh shit. <laughs> And <laughs> would you like to continue with that? I mean, yeah, I know I'm not saying because you would even need it because the beauty industry has so much money to give. Um, yeah. I'm saying more because it was a, it would be a fulfillment of yours. Um, I wouldn't do it because you know a lot of people when I tell them that they're like, oh why? But I don't want to work at a hospital. But it's just like I would like to open a med spa. Like, oh, that would be so yeah. good. Dude. You don't have to yeah. have like a doctor, like med medical spas have to work under a doctor, but not anymore. So like a nurse, a registered nurse or a nurse practitioner can like open a med spa. So like that. That's yeah, Botox and all this other stuff. Correct. Yeah, it was. I saw that a few. Yeah. It's been a minute, right? Since they changed that. Yeah. 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 Like two years. Two thousand. Yeah. 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 Well, that'd be good. I actually see you, and I think you would be so good at it, too, because you're not scared of needles. You're not scared. You know what I'm saying? You can get into people's, like, you know, you can get closer to them, and you don't feel, like, awkward, you know? Because yeah. sometimes, like, you have to be able to be comfortable with yourself in order to be, like, in people's faces or to, you know what I'm saying? Because you're really in there, and you're really looking at them for hours, and it's like, you know, no. it's like, like, you have to have, you have to be confident, you know? Yeah. It takes a lot. So, I mean, the profession you're in, you if you don't have confidence, you're going to build it, but you're going to have to have it to survive. Is that one of the key elements or what else would you consider yeah. a key element of making it in this industry? And what do you and what did you wish you knew sooner about the industry? Um okay, so yeah, confidence is key and customer service like it can get pretty like catty, I guess you could say. <laughs> catty with you know, it's because like, of the people well, you're around, or because of yeah, your clients, no, or it's just like people are funky sometimes. Yeah. You know, like if you can't play into that. Um, what do you tell us about a moment when a client was funky? <laughs> um, I you don't say names. Oh, okay, I have two funny ones. One, oh, one client, I told her she okay, she did lashes and she wanted to add nails and I was like okay but I don't know if I can add your nails because you know like if if we have time I but I have to do another girl after so she was like okay she said yes and then she came to my house and she um she came to my grandma's house in Santa Fe Springs and uh she we oh, didn't yeah. have time for the nails so I told her and she was just like oh the only reason I didn't beat you up was because your kids were there and i was like i was like girl you could come back because i'll go outside and <laughs> the house. Back. i'm gonna go and outside real quick it's like what the hell and yeah i was like 
And she was like, I don't know, she had shared with me she was from like fucking Compton or something. I was like, girl, I'm not from the suburbs. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I couldn't get it cracking. And she's like, get my money back. Like, but she never came back. I'm not gonna lie all day. I was kind of like, when I'll go outside, I'm like, that was one time, like, I don't know who she thought she was. And then another time, um, I was doing pedicures and I had my friend helping me and then we were cleaning up and we told the lady like she was an old lady and we told her um give us like 15 minutes because we're about to like get through set up and la 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 and then she was just like yeah right you gave you gave the fat girl my appointment like talking about my friend and I'm like bitch she's just she's gonna assist you like she's gonna start your she's cleaning your pedicure ball (laughs) So like I don't know, people get weird. People are weird. She said that. Yeah, but now it's, yeah, she literally did, and then it went bad. It, she like it went bad. I told her she was like, "You need to she's like you need to get some B." And I told her, "I, I, I can't gonna say what I told her." But she was a weird. She was a weird Karen. <laughs> she was a weird. <laughs> she was my only Karen I've ever. Heard. But oh I mean, but now nah, that's like that's like bad though. But what I guess more what I that's just like funny. But um, some girls just have bad attitudes. Like I don't know. Like, or do you feel girls. the energy? Do you yeah. feel the energy in your room? Yeah, and explain that to me because I won't recently, take that. Huh? as my job, <laughs> no, like as you know, I had a client and I just she was like bombarding me and like one thing that we hate is like if i tell you my student's availability like that's my student's availability like yeah. i, I want to get paid you know yeah. like i'm gonna get as much as i can and they get mad and then i don't know but this girl went over me and she booked with my salon and she was like i woke up in the morning and she was like hey i'll see you at 4 30 and i was like oh no i called my job and i was like yeah i don't like her energy i can't work with her what was she because we don't need that shit. 4 30 in the afternoon or in the morning well i she we were talking about it she asked me if i if she could take her and i told her no i have a five and she was just like um she was like okay well i need to get in and da, da, da. and i told her well you could check my jobs i i sent her over to my salon booking link so she could book me on a saturday this was friday and then she literally i literally woke up and she was like see you at four i booked you, you at your job and i'm like <laughs> but I said no. Like I can't think. Yeah. I don't know. That was, that's like weird. I said no, yeah. girl. But I'm not gonna be there, girl. <laughs> yeah, like you can come. I'll be with somebody else. You can come. Maybe hold the light so I can lash. <laughs> yeah. She. I don't know. People. I don't know. But I. I don't take people. I would block them and block them from booking. And I. Yeah. I. I always that share with my job too beforehand. Have you <laughs> ever had a client lie about the service? Like lying meaning like they're saying that it's bad, but they, they're just lying so they can get maybe a refund or maybe see what they can get out of it. Like, do you ever encounter those? And if you have, how do you handle that situation? Honestly, like, honestly, truly, no. I haven't had anybody like, like super upset about their lashes. I I don't even think they're upset because they're bad. They're just trying to oh, get out of the to scam me? Yeah, 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 like no. that. That's what I mean. No, because why I'm saying this is because I've had like nail ticks that I know t- tell me like, especially this oh, one nail pick. Yeah. I know. She was really really good, and um. They didn't want to pay the set, and I mean, she is just amazing. She's actually a really good nail tech that I know. And she did a great job, and they didn't want to pay her. Um, well, they didn't want to oh, pay yeah. her. And I was like, what? Like, what do you mean they don't want to pay you? They're like, no. And then they'll start making all these excuses, but they're just people that somehow got into your booking list. And this is before right. you even – is that why the booking fee is so important? Yeah, you had to pay in full. To, the last couple of years, I've had it set to where you have to pay in full before you um book unless you're paying cash but i kind of like try to like limit cash because cash is dirty (laughs) and people have covid (laughs) so um now you just have to book and pay in full period so oh okay that works for me but no but no i really heard about people who are act like or people who act like that and 
um yeah it seems like that's just like their little like that's their hook sure. like, <laughs> yeah like that has so like, far another yeah, day i have a client who does really bomb hair really like like yeah. unbelievable it's so bomb and she was telling me some girl tried to do that to her and just wanted a refund and just blasting her and and someone else told her yeah she did that to somebody else so it's just that's just the type of people they are that sucks at the industry, okay. but you know every industry has its bads and it's good. Yeah, yeah. Or like, did you see those that couple that was like, that's their thing? Like they walk out in the nail shops and stuff. That's their thing. Like, that's my IV swag, stuff. girl. I go without pay. Aww. <laughs> girl. I'll be finessing at the salon. Ah, finessas, like. That's oh great. my god. <laughs> I'm done. Ray's right here, right? Ray's right here right now. He says hi. Ah, oh, hi, Ray. Ray <laughs> definitely says hi. Oh, I miss Ray. <laughs> so, Destiny, what is something that you would tell younger Des if you had the ability to tell her something right now? I'm looking at. <laughs> I'm looking at 18 year old Des. What would you tell that Des oh today? uh to stay focused to be stay focused. focused yeah mm -hmm. okay and in what sense destiny do you mean stay focused like what does that represent to you stay focused in what stay focused in at home stay focused about the career stay focused in what path like stay yeah focused. like stay like stay focused on your job and like like allocate those funds girl to your business like everything back to your business or save it um i feel like 19 19 20 21 it's like party mode so i would probably not not party um <laughs> i know for real and some people are like oh no it's okay like it's okay to like a little party like i don't think so i don't know I don't think so. What do you mean you don't think so? Talk about that desk. I want to hear about that desk. That desk that was a little bit about partying. I want to know, like, what happened there? What got you into this mood? And what got you, most definitely, I can tell now, out? <laughs> um, Dude, like, I don't know. Just, I would be so tired, like, and, and stre not stressed out. Not so much stressed out, but. Like, I don't know. I feel like I was making, like, so much money, and I was young, and I would just be like, all right, I'll, like, I'm the turn up. Like, I'm buying the turn up. I'm buying the blah, blah. I'm buying the bottles. I'm buying the weed. Like, and I just think that, like, you could use your money, like, in better places. And all those people who, like, want to party with you, like, want to party with you, and that's it. And, and, like, I see a lot of girls, I've seen, like, in just salons that I work at or like students or ex home girls, like they're just like wasting money, like wasting so much money, putting so much effort in like the plot or the turn up and it's like, girl, like put that in your business. And yeah. you make a lot you go far fast, I guess you could say. You know, and definitely that's very important. Definitely, you that's it. There's nothing wrong with like having drinks, you know, like oh I'm a bit like mm -hmm. After, like, I know you know when you're just like, bitch, beer me. Like, nothing's wrong with that. But it's just like, it could just get crazy. Fast. And do you feel like if you would have been around different type of minded people, do you think that you would have never gone into that type of lifestyle or for that moment? Or do you think that the people yeah. that surround you have any impact on you yourself yeah. or anybody? Oh, yeah. I, I don't think I'll, I, I, I talk to you and Stephanie and that's it because I don't know I can't I can't hang, I can't literally I can't hang out with a bitch that's not doing shit like I just yeah. can't and like it, it's hard for me because I'm nice and I don't want to just be like you're not shit I don't want to be your friend no more but I mean like that's how it is like I don't know like Destiny, that's elaborate. Thing, like you're gonna hang out with rotten ass people or you're gonna start to rot like that that's just true, I think. That yeah. hey, you know what? I like that. I see so I'm like look. Um yeah. so <laughs> so what I'm saying is you have developed the skill to really be able to push back maybe energy or, or people that just 
are not supposed to be around you. And that's, that's hard for a lot of people. Not a lot of people can, like you, you have, I'm sure that you have almost even friend requests in real life, not even just on Instagram. I'm sure you have like a friend request of people that want to be your friends, but you're just like, no, I, I can't keep you in my energy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially lately, like I I dumped so many friends because I feel like every even my like not throwing shade, but just even my clients, like a lot of my little clients, like like I've had I'll tell you that after, but like they're just like yeah, like BBL this, like I'm gonna have a dude pay for this, like I feel like every single girl just wants to find like this rich ass guy who's just gonna like save them, like status yeah. and it's just like so annoying like what <laughs> like yeah and it's funny because like my old friends would tell me like oh girl like I need to get my own spot for my kids and I need to do this like and I they paid for my last class I've taught them how to do it and then they just don't put it into play and they're just like well I'm gonna have a guy by me I'm gonna have a, like the last time I talked to one of my friends she said like well, when I get my body done, my man's gonna buy this guy's gonna buy me a apartment. She don't even have like a guy. It's like like I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> but I get my nana. I don't even work like that. All of my thoughts. <laughs> ah, and then that's when I'm just like, yeah, I'm done. Like I don't know. It's just like this whole era is just like girls just want to trick on guys, and it's just like. And then guys don't even have money, girl. They don't. That's another problem. Like, how my man is not... okay. like, dude, they're going to see the next bitch who has a big ass and has her own shit. And then that's it, bitch, bye. <laughs> I'm going to pay for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's facts, though. But it is hard to find because sometimes you might even come off as weird because you want to make your own money and you know what maybe you don't fit the cookie cutter maybe you're not the type of girl that just wants a man to pay for her maybe you're a hustler and they look at you funny because they feel like maybe you should be at home instead of being out hustling like from my experience like a guy is gonna buy you stuff when you already have your own shit and it's like damn my bitch works a lot like i'm gonna buy her some shit too (laughs) like yeah because they see you They see you getting your own and they see you being independent. But like I said, it is very hard to find friends that have that mentality. And I'm I'm talking with you because um, my friends, I love them to death. They're all on here. And I actually have my homegirl that she started her own business. But before then, it was really hard for me to connect with my friends because I even had a homegirl tell me. She told me, dude, when you would call, I wouldn't answer. And then I was like, why wouldn't you answer my call? She's like, you're bragging. No, 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 no. Check this out. She, I'm like, why aren't you answering my phone call? And then she was like, because I wanted to go party and you wanted to go to a library. And you want to do boy shit, bro. And I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to watch a documentary with you, Claudia. I didn't want to go to the library with you. And she's like, and I knew you weren't down for that, for that. Like, and I was down, you know, but then there was times where I was more down to go to the library, you know, not every time. Let me turn up at the library. Why can't we turn up at the library? What? But how are you supposed to get better, bitch? Learn. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But it was hard. And then I think I, instead of elevating myself up, I kind of came down. And I'm not saying that they were lower in any way, but what I am saying is that I didn't go to my full potential because I wanted my friends that I grew up with. And I'm not talking about all of them, but I wanted, you know, my friends, I wanted to fit in with them. I wanted to be like them. I wanted to like the same things they like, you know, because I felt like nobody has this mentality that I have. I felt like it was a weird mentality to have. I really think that everyone does when you're talking to them and you could just tell, like, I I, I don't know, a lot of my friends used to be like, Oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. Like, oh, like (laughs) even some of my family is still like that. Like, oh yeah. And you know what? And I love that fact that you say they think that you brag. That is so, so, because you're trying to educate them and you're trying to give them a better outlook in life and you're trying to help them and you're trying to tell them, hey, bro, like. I have people go like this to me. And I'm just like. Imagine all the viewers right now. At that point, I'm like, good luck, girl. no and it is so true though it is so true it is hard to find people with your same mentality and when you do find somebody like you you just kind of want to hold on to them and you're Uh, like we're crazy we're all like we could do this and this and this and this and this and this this." yes and then you guys have you this energy that just you know like it's beautiful because it's hard to find someone with that mentality like for me i get excited when i know there's a bigger hustler that's a female in the room Mm -hmm. because that means i'm about to learn something 
because that means I'm going to learn something, you know? That means that, oh, man, this girl's smart. Yeah, it's like I'm going to learn something. Like she's going to tell me something that I'm yeah. going to feel is going to benefit me and I'm going to be able to tell her something back too. So you feel like you guys are both benefiting from each other's information back and forth, you yeah, know? And that you both are, yeah, and that you both are growing, you know? And that's I the good thing. I love talking to older ladies in my hustle. Like I love it. Like I'm just like, damn, I can't believe you, like, built this life you have like off like fucking eyebrows and stuff like, yeah and that must and let us know about a situation when you were like when you knew you this was serious money like how did you know like this is serious money when did you realize you were making more money than even some of the adults around you with like you say these jobs you know that you know really some of the same pain shit but like they have the title of this job but explain to us like, like i always tell people like you're working for someone else's dream yeah dream like they already i don't know like you're just like a number you know what i mean yeah completely yeah. understood dude um, and, you know, but tell I, us like tell us like did it ever feel weird that you were maybe making more than like your family like maybe your cousins like did they ever were like oh she's making all this money like was did you ever feel that energy from anybody no I, I remember when I started making a lot of money, I, like, took, I took my grandma to Michael Kors and, like, <laughs> I took her, like, ball out, girl. <laughs> and then I took my little brothers and sisters and um my son to, like, build a bear. Like, I'm always, like, cool with it. Like, we're all going to eat type shit. Even my friends and I, that's why another reason why I had to cut a lot of friends. Because, like, they would just want me to pay for shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, like, oh, Des is going to get it. There would be times where I would tell my man, like, watch, dude, like, I'm not going to buy her food. And then, or, <laughs> <That's> know, <laughs> I know shit was going to happen. I love, like that. I love how and you always like. It would be like, it would be like, oh, it's okay. I'm not going to get nothing. I don't have no money. And I would always be like, okay, like, I'll pay but then one time I, I love those it. words. I love those words because that is a that is a scheme right there, right? Mm -hmm. Because like the way they set it up, the way they said it, right? Yeah. yeah. Like and, and you know when they said that, you were like, okay, that's code word that, because you have a big heart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so and once I stopped doing that, I noticed like they stopped inviting me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That must have been hurtful for you at that time, you know, because when, yeah. you know, you know, because you, yeah. you love your friends and you, and it you're was. kind of, it's disappointing. It was, but then at the same time, like, I would be like, bitch, I'll turn up in my own apartment. You yeah, bitch, I'm going to turn up with post, Postmates right now. <laughs> yeah, and, I don't know. And tell us about friendships. Like you said, you let go a lot of, of a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. um, was there a friend that was one of the hardest to get rid of? You don't have to say their name. You don't have to say who they are. But did you ever have that one friend you just couldn't get rid of because you just had such a bond? And what finally made you like, because I think a lot of girls have toxic relationships. It could be with partners. It could be with friends. So this question is about the friends. How did you decide, you know what? That's enough. Like you've crossed so many boundaries and I've allowed it, like, or have, has that even ever happened to you? Are you always quick yeah. to say, you know what? No, you messed up, bye. I'm always, I'm the type when someone says some weird shit, I'm like, like, I almost ignore it because I'm just like, like, bitch, like, what? <laughs> like, yeah. My, and, like, I'm not like, oh, I'm not bad, but like, I'm, I'm like, I don't have a good temper. So it's just like, <laughs> Am I gonna fucking slap you in front of everybody? No. <laughs> so I just, like, I'm just like, like I don't you're know. Like, you're you're all holding your head. It's so you. weird. Like, it's not that time. You know, like when people yeah. are like, I have so many friends who are like, crack jokes at me, and like, and it's just like, bitch, you're sneak this scene, like, and you don't think I peep it, like. Yeah. So I had so many friends like that, and it's just like. I, I like I had to real reevaluate myself, like yeah. not like compare, but I'm saying though, like we're the same age, we come from the same town, we come from the same school, from fucking everything, and it's like I'm in my own shit at night, like I have my own kids, like I have 
I have kids. Like, that's enough. Like, I don't need to be dealing with this little, like, bullshit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. And I would be like, why am I letting people talk to me away like that? Yeah. Or, like, tell me stuff about my man. And, like, I don't know, you know. Like, Did you... sneak, like sneak dissing. Yeah. <laughs> and and that's the worst because then you kind of have to evaluate yourself, too. Because then you start thinking, like, did they really exactly. mean it like this? So you start kind of, like... Like, did they yeah. just do that, or am I in the wrong, or maybe it's not that serious? Yeah. Like, it's sometimes, and the worst is not when they say it, because when they say it, at least you know it's out there, and that's how they feel. Like, yeah. you picked up the sign, they shot it, you understand now where you lay with this person, right? And I'm like, I'm like, um, I'm not defensive, but I guess I'm sensitive, so I'll be like, oh, we're like, okay, yes, yes, yes we're sensitive. Away. Yeah, like maybe I took it away, but it's yeah. like not they're talking shit no but is the hardest part not when they give you a maybe a weird remark um but the hardest part is when they don't say it they just do it with their body with their language like that is like i think because they'll like do things that you're like am i like and then you start questioning yourself because you're thinking like maybe it's just me i'm just over i'm an overthinker but i think that's like some of the hardest is when they send you subtle yeah. clues and you don't really know like where do we stand are we okay like what's going on like did i upset you and have you ever just sat down and really thought like how could i have upset her like where did i yeah. or you, you know what i'm saying like you were like where could i have like gone this person mad and it's like and that's happening so for so long i would be like that and you know what's so crazy about that is that you can literally like offend someone and not even know that you've offended them. And yeah, then and like you know what too? Like it's just like all the girls that I would talk to, like they would just I would stop talking to them because like they would be talking shit about each other and then they would all pull up together and we would all be going out and I'm just like, Bro, like what? Like this is so fake. So I would yeah. just I don't wanna just be like this bitch said this, so I would just like go like exclude myself and then um what they used to say she's weird des is weird she's a weird bitch that's what they would always say like she's weird because <laughs> i would just stop talking to them and it's just like because i can't handle all this fakeness but that's crazy because you're like she's weird you're like no i'm real it's because they didn't understand yeah. the difference yeah, there's she, weird and there's I real know. That's my Nina right there, Shelly Boo. She said, because they're insecure. Yeah, and then that's what I was going to get to next. It's like, now that I'm older, I kind of realize, like, oh, this girl is kind of mad. And I just leave it because I'm just like, you're, you want to, like, represent yourself that badly where it's like, I'm going to just let you go. Like, I'm going to pray for you. Oh, I know, I know, girly. And I think that, like, the older we get and um, the wiser we get, we are better. And is it hard or is it not when... I think sometimes certain females or you've gone through certain experiences, so sometimes you can almost dictate what that person is about without actually, like, even getting to really yeah. know them because you can already tell on a couple of things that they've done what type of person they are, what type of things yeah, they're drawn, I, what they bring into... I believe into that thing, like, if you say your life is if you say your life is shit like you're probably a piece of shit too like yeah no get your shit together okay i like that i like it and i think you're a realist you're straight to the point like regardless of what it is you're gonna say what's what you're feeling i know i feel bad sometimes because <laughs> <laughs> i know because i know you just cannot lie like you can't like it's like Right away, your body starts tensing up. You just get this like weird feeling, and you're just kind of like, oh, and you got to say, I'll be quiet. I would literally be like, <laughs> but would you say anything? Like, does it ever get uncomfortable enough to where you're going to say something? Like, do you ever like, because I feel like you're so real, like, you'll tell someone. I feel like you're the type to be like, you're making me uncomfortable. I feel like you would tell somebody, like, oh, like, yeah. Like, no, I can't deal with you today. You got to go. Like, you're very upfront. Like, or not... I would be, like, rude about it, I feel like, or too much. But now I'm just, like, you're really negative. And I just, <laughs> you're draining me. This is, like, you you're really drain me. Yeah? You tell and them, I'm, like, And I'm talking for, like, not just people that I guess. It's just, like, people who have told me or have come to me. Like, the thing is, like, they always come to me, like, to, for advice like or like you know i just want to because like i'm not perfect like i'm I, i'm healing i would say 
And they'd yeah. be like, dude, like, you know, trying to, I just tell people what works for me. Like, you're asking me, you know what I'm saying? And then they, yeah. like, they, I don't know if they don't like what I say or, like, I don't know what. And then they're like, oh, no, blah, 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 and say some negative shit. And I'm just like, oh, I don't know that. <laughs> and then it's like you were telling you were just telling me this like you were just telling me you want to like get on like i i will literally help people out like i literally will call like i've helped homegirls get super on with lashes and like i will help you but it's like you gotta help yourself too and you know what i love about that let's talk about your name for once you are the damn plug like <laughs> talk about that like are you the plug because i feel like you are the plug My. you know what i'm saying i feel like you are the plug i feel like people you about so many different things even some things that you're like what how would i know but you know whatever i'm the plug i'm gonna get it done i'm gonna let you know my opinion Tell me yeah. about that. How did you decide the plug? And I mean, it fits you well, but how did you decide that was the name? And how did you... My name? You know, how did, yeah. Oh, my God. I was hanging out with my friend in her car. Yeah. And we were smoking. And then she was just like, what did I tell her? Oh, I wanted to do nails. And she was just like, this was like in 2014, I think. Mm -hmm. And she was like... um. She was like, you're, you're like the nail, you're like the nail plug, the, I forgot what else she said, the hair plug, the makeup plug, the lash plug, and I was like, the lash plug, I was like, should I put that as, I was like, should I put that as my name, and she was just like, uh, yeah, do it, so then I did it, and then I deleted it, because I was like, is that like, is that like I'm trying to be trap or something, but no, then I just kept it, and then the people were like, oh, I like your name, <laughs> Yeah, be, but you are what your name says. You lived up to that name very uh -huh. well, let me say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you are the plug. And I remember you telling me, like, they're asking me where to get these shoes. Or they're asking me, like. You, you're always like, <laughs> you're like, this is the encyclopedia. <laughs> they do. People do ask me stuff. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, my boss, <laughs> she's always like, where can I get these Yeezys at? I'm like, oh, this page. <laughs> You are, and I always love the Valenciagas that you wear. I always love those shoes. I always, I'm always gonna ask you about them because I love them. <laughs> they look so good. I feel like that's your signature shoe. Like that is your signature shoe. It is. Like the homegirl, she don't it's buy. Them on. She doesn't rebuy Converse. She re she like rebuys fucking what is it Valenciagas? Yeah. 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 That's that's gangster in itself. So tell us. <laughs> Tell us, Destiny, how, where do you see yourself in the future? Like, if you could share, whatever you can share. Um, what do you see yourself in the, for the Lash the Plug? Like, where would Lash the Plug like to be in five years? Lash the Plug is going to have her own um, space. Like, I, 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 I just want to have a full service one. But, I mean, I did. But it's just, like, now, like, a lot of people are like, don't you want your own spot back? Like, don't you want to do your own thing? And I'm just like, not yet. Um... I would like to be, like, freaking 40 because people don't listen. Like, I don't know. It's hard to, like, employ people your age, I guess. Oh, okay, yeah, because they don't, They might not have the same mentality. Tell me, do you ever, they what do you do with, mm -hmm. <laughs> what happened? They just think you're talking shit or, like, you're. No, like, no, 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 no. Like, where I was going with this question, the next one is, where do you find inspiration from? Because I feel like what you do is an art. So it, you have to sometimes, like, you have to be inspired. Like, you have to be inspired to do makeup sometimes. You have to feel it. You have to be like, okay, I feel like doing makeup today. Like, what inspires you when those days when you're like, oh, I'm tired. I'm just like, are you, are you like, I mean, sometimes I know you love what you do, but like, how do you inspire yourself when maybe you're just like, oh, I'm tired? The bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, and it's just like a cool job. Like I said, I used to be nervous and I wouldn't really talk. But now, yeah. I don't know. Like sometimes I'm like, I'm tired. and uh, I don't know. Or like my kids are crazy. So like I like to just go talk to people like, you know, yeah. about whatever they tell me. You know, they tell you their little like, <laughs> bitch, you, what he did like. <laughs> And then, but, I don't know that. that hey, you know what, Destiny? And I love that you brought this question that just popped into my head. My <laughs> question is, and you don't like, okay, like, it's not that you're talking about any of your clients, but since you've talked to so many people, and you're kind of like a therapist in a sense, 
what type of problems because i think i think they should go talk to people that do hair in like beauty services because i feel like they hear the most so they kind of understand who what kind of is the biggest issue like what do you feel us females talk about the most when or issues is it about men is it about kids is it about finance is it about jobs like what do you feel like they'd like talk to you the most about um, the issue like like nine sixteen to like twenty six is like guys and like like thirty to like and above is just like kids or they ask a lot about your kids. So, <laughs> yeah. like, Tell us about your kids. Definitely then. about guys. Like my clients, they'll be so cute and quiet and like yeah no, and then I'm like oh you have a boyfriend and then like you know, 30 minutes are like, and fucking this and this and this and this and this. And I'm like, oh, that's what she likes to talk about. is her dude. So <laughs> you kind of know what people like to talk about. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> and then you see the next time and it's like, oh, hey. And it's like, you're kind of like waiting who's going to bring it up this time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it. I love it that you get to like hear all these uh, different stories and that's probably what makes it fun because not one day is the same. Something new is going to happen every time you show up because new people, new energy. But how does Des clean her energy? Like how do you, how do you clean your energy when you like felt like a very heavy energy that day or like how do you like reconnect with destiny? Yeah, see this, I'm, this is like what I say I'm kind of like trying to work on more mm -hmm. because I would find myself like mad stressed or like just I don't know like I don't like not that you let people like get to you but like after like dealing with somebody so draining it's just like like you're really drained especially me because I'll be like trying to just preach positivity or like you know like ways to help them and shit and then like they're still like no no and so like I don't know I I would get like down or I don't know I'd feel like tired and I would talk to my aunt she's just like no you have to like really like she's a nurse so she would be like you just have to cleanse yourself like sage um I do sage a lot um I have like crystals or wear crystal bracelets um what else um uh, my aunt told me to put salt in my pocket that's a new one that that is like you just don't I don't know if we don't carry bad energy I don't know I don't know if you guys are spiritual but I believe in all that hey dude even if I wasn't spiritual I like that one if I needed salt yeah. for my tacos I got it right there there's no way that could go wrong <laughs> yeah there's a lot of prayer and a lot of prayer yeah. praying you know yeah um working out I'm sweating <laughs> destiny. I could only imagine if me and you were the same age when we were young and we would have met. That would have been some crazy energy. We're both Aquarius. Wow, you know what I'm saying? And I'm always down for a hustle. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, I'm always, like it's crazy. It's crazy. And you know what? It's so crazy that our energies kind of attracted us because, I mean, there was no <laughs> yeah, other way we would have met each other. Yeah, that's true. Like, I think that's there right had to be... The Usually, like, girls that I talk to and that I'm cool with is just like right off the bat we're like dog because yeah. it's just like it's not no fake shit like, <laughs> I love that you, you heard tell. it here guys if Destiny ever rewind she said it here the realest <laughs> uh, yeah Claudia is the realest of you. <laughs> here. Destiny, talk about your kids. Let's ask some questions about your kids now. Okay. How old were you when you first became a mother and how was that experience? Oh my god. Um I was eighteen. I got pregnant when I was eighteen. How was and that? I had my daughter. How was how was that like telling your parents? How would were you like, you know what my parents are understanding? Or were you I like got, nervous? <laughs> I got caught. Oh my god! Cause like my job, I, I was working like at um like Geezer's, like this mm. place in Santa Fe Springs. It's like pretty popping, yeah. and I just couldn't fucking stand the smell. Like they have bomb food, like but I just 
couldn't stand the smell. I was throwing up, and I would just call out all the time. And yeah. then um, they had, like, told me something. The the manager, she was a bitch, but she told me something. And just, like, my crazy pregnancy, I was just like, you know what, bitch, bye, fucking quit. <laughs> and they knew my grandma. So my grandma, like, wants to call in, like, why did she quit? You know, she says that I just wanted, because that was her friend, I guess, or her her, not her friend but like her colleague her work colleague so I kind of she was like I want to know what happened and and she she was like oh she's pregnant so <laughs> my Stop, grandma was like, yeah. pregnant. <laughs> you're always pregnant like you want to oh she's you pregnant eat there still and I'm just like they say hi to my grandma and I'm just like bitch <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. Destiny bitch. is that. So, so they just tell you your. They told your grandma, not your mom, right? Yeah, they told my grandma, and then um, she was my phone was dead because I was asleep, and she like sent. <laughs> she okay. My grandma's like best friend lives next door, and her daughter is like like we've been friends since like we're a little. And she came yeah. knocking on the door. Or she knocked on the window, and she was like, <laughs> "Your grandma." Said to call her now, and I was like, "What?" Now I hold really up, hold up. How many months were you, or how how like far along were you in this? I want to get into your mindset. Like here you are, eighteen years old, and at eighteen you honestly still feel like fifteen. So I don't give a, in Mexican households. Even if you eighteen, you feel like you're fifteen in a Mexican household. 13. So, uh, so here you are, eighteen. How did you find out? Hold on, let me rewind. How did you find out you were pregnant? I mean, obviously, you know. But where were you? Like, did you already know? Were you like, what's going on? No, like, oh yeah, bring like, it back. I don't like me and my baby dad knew. Like, I guess I don't know. It was not. It was not like a surprise. I guess like I was, it was just kind of like, what if this happened? And then I don't know. He's just like, I really care about you. Like, I'm gonna be there for you. Blah blah blah. Uh, like, yeah, oh, like, we're gonna get in trouble, and he's like, "We'll move out." <laughs> oh, down! <laughs> I love, I love how his mind was like, "Don't worry, we're gonna get a Bentley, and we're gonna go to." The... And you were like, "I'm down." So, like, I was like, "What the fuck?" Like, this fool, all he did was play baseball. Like, he's <laughs> <laughs> like, "Wait a minute." <laughs> This is not adding up in my hustler money. <laughs> it's like oh, he was like we're eighteen, so <laughs> yeah. So we can do so, this. It was we're not a surprise. And I play baseball. A... What happened? <laughs> He's like, I'm eighteen and I play baseball, and we can get it done. <laughs> huh? <laughs> but the, you know what makes me laugh about that is that you're a really smart girl so you knew math and you knew money so you're like that doesn't add up like this is not added up <laughs> yeah i don't know i guess i get i guess i love you uh, <laughs> or whatever you said I, your I, I, I think i had a job i had a job at a makeup school or something like that mm -hmm. yeah so that's where you found out mm-hmm Okay, so you find out and you're like, who am I telling first? Or how were you going to break it down to your parents? Or what was the plan there? Oh, my God. My grandma's like, you better text your mom or I'm going to text her. And I know you better tell your mom or I'm going to tell her. And I was like, I'm going to text her. Because <laughs> my mom <laughs> had me at 16. So, like, that was, like, her whole shit. Like, bitch. Not that it was bad. Like, she, you know, whatever. She did that shit. But. Yeah yeah <laughs> so you so this and you tell your mother what's her reaction what are you feeling like are you like well it's out there now like whatever happens well you know oh my god not. she's like no you're not no 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 she just started set tripping on me and like she like went to my baby daddy's house like this is the whole shit <laughs> they are now your family. husband now her husband guys if you're yeah. watching this, now her husband he was still he was still a senior so yeah. <laughs> what did your mom tell him? Like, my daughter's pregnant? <laughs> yeah, she thought she, I guess she was talking shit really bad. I don't know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it was years bad. ago. We're, we're in better terms now. <laughs> <laughs>
you know that is crazy so you how, how is it knowing that you're pregnant what do you, what's going through your mind at this point destiny are you like i gotta hustle harder or oh my god like what like like did you how did you feel when you knew like i think it's always amazing because i don't have kids but i found it amazing that you have to be with your kid at every moment i know that's obvious but i'm just saying that when their babies is like you unless you become a mom you don't really think about it when you don't have kids that you can't get a, like there's like they need you and you no longer have those that those moments you used to have and i think that's where some girls you know it's hard for because yeah. you have to like there's no you time it's all yeah. about the kid and now you it's all about the kid and now you're still hustling like how was it balancing that life was it hard was it one of the hardest things you've done or did you pick it up really quick no working was cool i always tell people like they're like oh well i have a baby like when they want to do lash start doing lashes and i'm just like well that's like the perfect time because I felt like my kid like my son like he kind of grew up like like he was like a shop baby you know like he knows like this is my mom's job like this is that she has a client like he know he knows like he'll be like you have a client right now and when I would work at home from home and yeah. I don't know now that when he was like four three four five till now he's six he like knows like don't fuck with mom right now. Like, she's busy. Yeah. So I always tell them, like, start them young. But how do you start telling them? Like, how old were they? Like, maybe one, two, or how old well, were Because I would work at home. Because, like, I also didn't have, like, a babysitter. It's expensive. So how did you manage kids. having your kid, like, maybe crying and you have to finish lashing? Or how did that How did that dynamic work or, or let us into that? Um, I would, like, even I last this whole first year with my daughter at home I just you just set them up like you get their little snacks and their toys and their a uh, show or whatever it is and next to you or I would last in the living room so it's like the living room and then the it's like like I don't know like an entry room and then living room so they would just be right there playing um and yeah I don't know they just do their thing if they cry <laughs> my daughter has cried before and i would get so like oh my god like what if she fucking cries like i can't do it but like people don't trick you know just like oh i'll be right back and oh. i'll put my baby to bed and all that but um that's cool for like a couple years you know but eventually you gotta have like a you have to make the jump to like a like a salon or like a suite or space that where there's no kids and stuff like that but if that's like your situation like like own that shit do it like i don't know i'll take my kids to my shop that's why i want to have my own shop so i could just have my kids in there i would literally probably have like a lounge room just for my kids to chill you know it's your business and that, and that would be smart destiny and i think that you have the ability to make that happen because yeah. you're good at what you do Thank you. You're very good. So, Destiny, so that you've taught us so much today, Destiny. You taught us about hustling, about the love life, about having kids. Like, that's something you really wouldn't get. Like, yes, you have to tell your kids, this is what mom does. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I think that they try to shelter them from everything. Not that you have to shelter them from everything, but it's like, teach them. Like, don't wait to, don't be like, oh, they're too little to understand that. Because their kids are smarter than you think, as you just explained to us that hey my son knows mom is working right now and understands the concept of what you're doing and i think that's yeah, great it um, teaches I them too like like i guess you could say discipline you know like you know like when you meet somebody like it's like oh hi how are you? like you know you have to behave or you can't yes. just be crazy around everybody <laughs> and that's really smart because i know your son for one once i meet him he's very polite very nice and i always say oh my god you have like the cutest kids like they're cute inside and out Aww. dude i swear to god they're i would be shy I, would, I used to be so shy when i was little like i'm like like the little mute kid like i don't talk but like my son like he's so social but i think it's i it has to be like from my job you know because then yeah. all the girls are like hi like <laughs> So, yeah, and yeah. he has to be around so many of them. So he's kind of like faking up, and that's a good thing. It's a good thing that he's able to speak up. What do you feel that you were timid when you were younger, Destiny? Like, what do you think that, that came from? Were you just like, 
Mm, there's no need to talk to you where you're just like mm, like what 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 yeah I, I don't know I'll like see like an older person I'll be like oh my god I'm gonna go over here like, I don't know I was just shy my <laughs> my baby daddy is super shy he says too so we're yeah. like that my son is like crazy <laughs> so so it's like the opposite maybe your daughter do you think is gonna be a little bit more um not as talkative as your son your daughter how do you feel you might be rude. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Tell us. She's, tell us. What did she she's do? Crazy. She's just strong. Like, she's strong. She has a strong personality. Like, like I don't know. My son's really laid back. He's yeah. like a Taurus. Like, Taurus men are very nice. But he's a Capricorn. She's like, I'll try to give her her bottle. And she will not take it from me. She'll push it away. But if I, like, and then literally, like, I'll put it in front of her. And then she'll like snatch it and drink it, and I'm like, okay, like <laughs> you don't like let us feed her. She has to feed herself. Yeah, she's, she's independent she's like her mama. She gets it from you. <laughs> Very independent. That's what everybody says. What do you? Who do you think she's like? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she's a boss. She tells you she's a boss by the way she throws a bottle. She's like, I'm a boss. I don't need nobody feeding she's me no more. Goat. <laughs> Capricorn. It was your birthday just not that long ago. Happy belated birthday, Destiny. Yeah. Another year. Yeah. Yes. We're Aquarius. I think Aquarius is I think that sometimes it sucks because I feel like we're like that horoscope that kinda sometimes gets left in the dust. Kinda like, Oh, you're an Aquarius. Like they don't even know what they are. Like, oh Aquarius is what Yeah, are we you are. Know? Or they know we're crazy. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 I think that now we're getting that persona, but I think for a long time it was like other, I feel like other signs get a little bit like, oh, okay, I get it. But when you think of an Aquarius, they never know what type of vibe you're supposed to bring, you yeah, know? Yeah. Because our vibe is different. It's never going to be the same. It's always going to be like different, you know? Yeah. And either you really fit in or you really don't fit in. Like our vibe, it's like either we're all the way in or they do not like us at all. <laughs> no, that's so true. That's and it's definitely. so crazy because I don't know if you've ever felt it like either like and you're like what's going on I'm acting the same but this is like they're just not digging my vibe they're my vibe is too I think what I can consider me and yours is vibe if you don't mind me adding I feel like our vibe is very um chaotic in a sense but in a good way like we bring like a lot of like happiness and excitement and energy and I think some people are just put off by that so much energy because they're like yeah low. they're like why is this bitch too nice and it's like yes like, like I'm like this is just how <laughs> this is just how we run this is our natural like they're like why are you so happy in the morning Claudia <laughs> like, why, do you, why are you so mad yeah exactly it's like why are you not this happy i'm concerned about you you're concerned about me <laughs> uh, like it's crazy me, baby, it's with you. <laughs> <laughs> all righty girly i know that you are tired it is 10 o'clock at night i know you've had I a long day <laughs> yes no yes i could go on for more but my phone's I about know. to die dude I loved it. Thank you so much. You literally wake up. You're a hustler, a mom, um, a wife, a daughter, a granddaughter. Like, you fit all these roles, and you do them so very well. And it's so hard to be able to stretch your time into, you know, into to fit in all this. Because, you know, everything is very important to you, from family to work. And, it, and I love how you make it into a hybrid, and you're able to really be a mom and be a hustler. And that it's hard to to do those things and you do it so well i mean like you said there's many that wonder how you even do it like how do you like you they could watch this whole video and they're like but how does she do it <laughs> like, i know just, my friend was you... like all right i'm so excited to watch this because i need to know your secret i'm just like but i don't do nothing <laughs> <laughs> but you know what you did share a lot of gems you shared hey if you want your kids to behave during services teach them how to you know what I'm saying? And that's beautiful. If you want to do something, you said, say, eh, I can do that. And have you ever, actually, now that I'm on that point, have you ever wanted to do something, but it just didn't come out? Like something, like maybe a service, or have you never had a situation? What was the last thing? I think it cut off. Did I ever? Oh, like, have you out? ever came to a was situation where maybe you were not the best at a certain service and you were like, I'm done? 
Or did you always just keep trying it and trying it till you got the best of it? Yeah, nails. I've been trying to mess with nails for like, like so many years, but I always stop because it's so hard. But then, yeah. uh, I'd say like this last year, I just kept doing it. I don't care. Like one of my yeah. friends was like, "Put yourself out there. It doesn't matter if they laugh. It don't matter if it looks bad or, you know, like." Because later on, when you keep going and you post, you're good. Like, I see, like, Vanessa, like, when she would post, like, her beginner nails. And then now, and I'm like, oh, my God, okay, I can do it. I just have to keep going. Like, yes, yes. Like, I tell that to people all the time. Like, just keep doing your lashes every day. Do your lashes every day. And then, I don't know. So, I have to take, your, take my own advice, I guess. Oh, that's good. And you have to, especially because I feel like nails and lashes kind of are different universes in a sense, because it's yeah, like different like styles, you know, it's, <laughs> you know, and, and the reason why I know this is because um, I know Vanessa told me that she tried lashing and it was the opposite from nails. And it was like a different, it was even a different, like, you got to think differently. You got to, it's a different, like, you have to be very precise with like lashing. Yeah. Like, it's a very, it's it's a very yeah, meticulous it's job. Crazy. It's like you gotta remember like this, that, like all these little things that like one application and then times ten fingers, like but <laughs> like you know, but lashing in itself it's so it's so difficult too, you know, it's like putting it in a way that like you still have to give it a shape and you still have to give it a style and yeah. you know you have to know what best suits somebody's eyes. Has that ever happened to you actually? I think that People would like to know if has it ever happened to you that the girls want a certain lash set and you know their eyes are too little or that it's gonna look too crazy or are you just like whatever you want, girl? I used to like try to tell them, but they have no idea what they're talking about. So like what I kind of learned as like a seasoned the lash tech is just like they don't know anyway. So I do what I think. And they don't even know. Like they're like, "Oh my god, it looks so good!" Like, <laughs> so you pretty. Oh, I love that skill. So you're like, you know what? I'm the expert. I'm gonna put what I know is gonna look good on them. Has it ever backfired on you? Because they're like, "No, I told you I wanted these like super like, you know." <laughs> no, no, I don't like. I don't know. That's like the number one question I get. Like, has someone like? not like their lashes like no I don't I mean they'll tell me like oh I want next time we should go longer or next time can we do them shorter but oh. I tell them I can't do them shorter be just because like I'd have to take them off and redo them you know I can't like like extend it so um, <laughs> yeah let me get the scissors real quick <laughs> <laughs> yeah but I mean nothing than that I'll tell them like by the next time, by your next bill, you'll be, you'll shed those off and we'll start like transitioning you and they're cool with that. Unless they I never told me. <laughs> and maybe they don't like their lashes, but they don't tell me. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm liking it, but it's because you know how you told me that you know you'll do oh, the style that you feel. Like you don't so like my style. Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. They, but then they actually know what they wanted. Like they really wanted these crazy lashes that you know the what is not gonna look good on them. Oh, you know, it's yeah. kind of like let's say like if you're a hairstylist and you're like that color's not gonna look good on you, and you give them a color yeah. that really, even though it looks really good on them, they're still like, I want that other color, even though you know yeah. it's gonna look bad. Oh. Has that ever happened? Like you give them a bomb lash it, but then they're like, but I wanted these super super extra uh, i don't know like extra volume um no no just because like also do like i won't do like like say they wanted pink hair i won't go put them green hair but like i'll <laughs> do what they like the yeah, general so style. <laughs> yeah i'll do the general style but like i'll tweak something like i'll tweak the length or like the the shape or some shit not not too close oh. Oh, okay, I like that. So you have a really good eye, and I'm glad that you're confident enough to actually do what you feel is best, because if not, there'd be a lot of crazy girls walking around with some crazy lashes. Dude, imagine you actually gave them what they wanted. <laughs> like, what's this to be I doing? feel like I can look at people, and I'm like, oh, you're like a medium to full. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love that you you just like label them. She's she was the, like, hey, Destiny, do you remember this girl? Yeah, she was a medium. Oh, yeah, and... I agree with <laughs> <laughs> you were literally finishing up with a client when you messaged me you're like 
hey, I'm finishing up with a client. Like, I'm like, dude, true hustler. I wish I was there to record it. Like, this is, like, she Aww. is still getting in that last client. I know if I was at my job, at my, I was at her house, but if I was at my job, I probably would have, like, put it there and started talking. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, that would have been, that would have been cool. Maybe next time, where are you working now, um, baby girl where are you working at now let the viewers know in case they're from the barbie cave so they know where to book you let them know what services you do um and also merch i know you sell some merch as well oh yeah right now i'm doing all services um tooth gem body sculpting lashes brows i do that at, um in whittier uh prime boudoir it's like french <laughs> but no <laughs> They're they're known for eyebrows. I used to work there back in the day, pre COVID, but um, I ended up doing my own thing. So then, I recently went back just because I just didn't want to have my stuff at home anymore. I needed to like separate that. Oh, okay, awesome. Yeah. How how do you feel? How do you feel being back? Like um, how do you feel the energy? How's everything? How's 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 the transition? It's good because, you know, I, I don't know. It's fun working around women. And, you know. and, um, yeah, everybody's cool there. It's just like a different vibe. My, my kids are not there. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's probably what you miss the most because I know you love being around your kids. Like, you honestly, when I see Destiny, I see her kids. Yeah, There's no other them. way. Like, I know yeah. that that's your number one thing. So I can imagine why it's a little different because – the whole COVID and everything, you were with them all the time. So it's probably some, it even feels weird probably for you right now, not turning around and seeing them right away. Yeah, it's cool. But I mean, I don't know. Like I said, if my other advice, my biggest advice is like to make that jump. Like if you're working at home, like try to make that jump. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even if mm -hmm. they, it doesn't matter if you're going to get a salon suite or a room, it's just like, get that out of your house <laughs> but you I tried it you gave it a try it People wasn't are for cool you with it, but in all reality like they want to go to like a professional space yeah that's what i get i would get from it i don't know is that how you felt so but you gave it a try and you saw if it was, was for you and yeah, you gave it a, you yeah, gave it an honest shot and you like that pardon okay home is cool like if your kids are small and you need yeah. to work at home it's cool but um you gotta take it to the next level of, of what do you say like professionalism yeah you have to bring have it into the salon yeah. no for sure no and i completely understand that yeah, destiny yeah. i wish you all the luck in the world and i know you're gonna get there because you're fucking the plug you have the plug for <laughs> you was the not plug. gonna get I'm gonna the, change my name to lash the plug <laughs> <laughs> so girlies i'm gonna be tagging every all the services that destiny uh does and she does an amazing job so honestly if you need any type of service done and she works with a great team i've seen um and i love your tiktok videos and your instagram oh, no, the instagram reels i love them i love watching it i'll show them to my friends I was the hunger, Aww, I do it all the time. even I'm though i'm not there writing the that. comments sometimes because i'm the worst texter in the world don't ever text oh me, guys. I, I don't even open the text because I suck at texting. But just know, I'm virtually, I'm sending you hugs. And I wish you the best Aww. in everything you do. And congratulations again. What's your new last name now, Destiny? Tobar. <laughs> Tobar, Mrs. Tobar. I'm going to have to call you that in the next interview. So I'm gonna, we're going to do an interview a little bit later in the year, Destiny, if you would uh, allow us to. And then we're going to see where you are, what you've accomplished, what what's going on with you, and yeah, what's yeah. our space with you there. Yeah, we should do something. We should, like, like have a, like, meeting, like a book club or something. But like, Let's do, oh, if you're down, we should do, no, we should really do something, you know, so let's plan things. something, you know, we, for the summer, let's plan something. Let me know, we'll link up, and you know, I'm always ready for, you know, I've gotten some crazy ideas going on recently. They were trying to get me into, like, painting and smoking and, and some, some, you know, here at the shop, so we're trying to figure out something to do and you know or we can always just hang out as well and i would love to hang out with you very oh, soon yeah yeah, yeah. Most all righty destiny well thank you so much bye. have a good night bye. Claudia. Bye. 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 bye